gonna tell you not to panic. Just keep calm. If you watched the last episode, you might be a little worried because I told you that of all the fresh water on Earth, less than 1% of it is actually accessible to us on the surface. And we are using it like we've got an unlimited supply. Which, you know, we don't. But even though humans are partly to blame for the freshwater problems on our planet, some of us are working on solutions to fix the damaged freshwater systems around the world. But how exactly have humans affected the amount of freshwater in the hydrosphere, and what are we doing to make things better? Well, I'm glad you asked. Last time, we took a look at the falling levels of freshwater in the Colorado River and the impact that had on local wildlife. So you know that freshwater levels can definitely change, but you might not know exactly what causes them to change. Probably the biggest thing that humans do that negatively affects the hydrosphere is over-harvesting. Over-harvesting is when people use too much water, like on farms or factories, or for personal use in their homes or offices. Basically, over-harvesting is overuse. Pollution is another Another problem. When sewage or other waste from humans gets into the water, it can have a major impact on the animals that depend on it to survive. In some really bad cases, these animals can get sick or even die from living in contaminated water. Dams are the things that humans build on rivers that can also reduce the level of fresh water. They're used to collect water from rivers so that it can be redirected to different places, but dams also keep rivers from running their full natural course. Cutting off the natural flow of a river can affect the quality of the water and also get in the way of the fish that migrate up and down rivers. Okay, now at this point you're probably thinking, come on Sabrina, get to the happier stuff. Well, there are ways to help conserve Earth's freshwater. Lots of them. But let's not just talk about how people are helping to protect our water supply. Let's actually see some results. We'll first visit a freshwater system that's bouncing back from some tough times thanks to some helpful humans. This is Elwha River in Olympic National Park in Washington State. It's looking good, right? Yeah, well, it didn't always look that way though. A giant dam built nearly 100 years ago brought a lot of problems to the Elwha. All five species of native Pacific salmon live in this river, but the dam kept them from making their usual migration along the river every year. With less river space to call home, salmon numbers in the Elwha began to drop. Other fish were affected by the dam too because the water around the dam stayed in one place for longer than normal. The water got warmer than the fish were used to. This was a problem for two reasons. One, most fish prefer to lay their eggs in cold water, and two, warm water breeds parasites, which led to more disease in the fish, and which led to fewer fish as the years went on. So in 2011, some local people decided it was time for the dam to come down, and by early 2012 it was gone, and the work to fix the Elwha was underway. Since the dam has come down, almost 160 kilometers of habitat have been restored for the salmon species in the river. And today the Elwha is looking awfully lovely. Plus it's not the only river getting a new look. Since 1999, about 430 dams have been torn down across the United States, allowing rivers to return to their natural flows. Removing dams isn't the only thing humans are doing to pitch in. Groups have set aside some freshwater systems as protected areas to keep them from being polluted or over-harvested. And you can help by doing really, really, really simple things, like taking shorter showers or turning off the faucet when you brush your teeth. The Elwha still has a long way to go before it's fully restored, but if super cool humans keep pitching in, it might get there one day. So, while some humans in the biosphere do pollute and over-harvest our fresh water, some are doing everything they can to protect the hydrosphere. What are you waiting for? Get out there and save some water! Yeah.